Well, God is love and he loves everything, right? Wrong. There are things that God hates. There are things that God despises. There are things that God wants wiped away from our lives and God hates these things because he loves his people and there are certain things that bring damage to them. So I'm going to ask you to consider today doing a body check. Think about, think about physically, think through your, your life, and then look at the spiritual connection that's being made in this passage. In Proverbs chapter 6, verses 16 to 19, there's a list of these six and seven things that God hates. Not 13 altogether, just it's building from 6 to 7. Listen to the passage, think about the anatomy, the picture of anatomy that's being used, and just in your own heart, and I'm going to ask you in a moment to do a little, a little body check of your own life. So here it is. There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, it's prideful eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community among God's people. So do something with me. Just quiet your heart for a minute. And just do a little body check. Ask yourself, are my eyes prideful? Do I have a sense of arrogance in how I look at the world and people around me? Be honest about it. Second, is my tongue a lying tongue? Am I prone to twist the truth, to tell overt lies, to cover my own path with my words? Do I have a lying tongue? Hands that shed innocent blood. Ah, don't have to worry about that one. Haven't killed anybody recently. Well, it's a metaphor. Are your actions those that bring violence and hurt to other people? And are there physical things you do that harm other people? It might be physical. It might be beyond that. Do you have a heart that devises wicked schemes? Do you just have a way internally to kind of plan things? I don't do anything with them, but I sure like to play out certain scenarios. If that's the case, bring it before the Lord. Feet that are quick to rush into evil. Do you find yourself dashing, rushing, moving towards things that aren't good for you and aren't good for others? Do your feet move you toward evil? Do you give false witness? Again, back to our mouths. Do you speak things that are inaccurate or, or false about yourself or about someone else? And then a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Are you a source of conflict among others? Lord God, help us to periodically pause, use this passage from Proverbs chapter 6 to do an anatomy check, to search our hearts, our hands, our eyes, our words all that we are, that we can become the people you want us to be. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I'd encourage you to engage somewhere for worship this weekend coming up, whether it's on campus or online. If you could be on campus near where you are, be there or online, but worship with God's people. Have a great rest of your week.